Now we have more on Amanda Knox, the 22-year-old Seattle student convicted of murder in Italy. She and her former boyfriend are in prison, hoping an appeals court will free them. CBS News correspondent Richard Roth has more this morning. Richard, good morning to you. Good morning, Jeff. Well, a week after their conviction, Amanda Knox and Raffaele Solecito are both being heard from in separate remarks delivered from their separate prisons in Italy. Interviewed by his own lawyer on behalf of a Rome newspaper, Raffaele Solecito says he still can't understand how the trial ended with guilty verdicts. Solecito was convicted of holding down British student Meredith Kircher while Knox slashed her throat with a kitchen knife. But he insisted Knox is incapable of killing anyone, calling her a sweet girl whose behavior in the days after her roommate's murder was misinterpreted as unfeeling or sinister. From her prison cell in Perugia, Knox, too, insists she's innocent, according to a member of the Italian parliament who met with her this week. Walter Verini says Knox told him she does have faith the Italian judicial system will exonerate her when her convictions appealed. Sharing that hope, Knox's mother, Etta Mellis, is meeting with U.S. diplomats in Rome today. Knox receives consular support as an American citizen, but the State Department has made no complaint or comment to Italy over her conviction. The next step in the process is a formal statement from the court explaining the jury's verdict. Knox, who's sharing a cell with a 53-year-old American woman convicted on a drug charge, is supposed to receive that within three months. Jeff? Richard Roth in London this morning. Richard, thank you.